Hello everyone, welcome to New Moon Botanicals and today I'll be talking about one of the best herbal remedies to fight with chest infection and congested lungs. So today I'm going to be talking about the best herb used for this, it's Inula Halenium, Elecampane. And this herb I have personally experienced with, so I've been taking this herb last December when I had fallen ill with chest infection and I use this herb as a part of my uh, formula because I don't use it on, on its own, I usually use it as a formula and to help me with my cough and it was, it's really really saved my, my time and my life, I mean it was really really bad so this, this herb is one of the best ones I have used for that. But this plant is very easily recognized, it belongs to Asteraceae family, it's one of the tallest herbs and I mean it's two and a half meters tall so if you consider growing in your garden just be aware it needs a lot of space and a lot of sun. I've been growing it at uh, this plant for the past two years and it was it was really good. Uh, I did collect the root in autumn. I managed to preserve the root a little bit more in the ground um, and it was very difficult to, to dig it up. So that's the root. Uh, it's half of the root basically. So um, the main tap root here, it must be somewhere still in the ground. It's very, very hard to get it out of the, of the soil. Um, but yes, it has uh, other roots, little tubers growing out that are deeply seated in the soil. So just be aware that when you try to take it out of the ground, be as gentle as you can. Um, it's very white and fleshy once it's cleaned up. So the root is used medicinally for a few conditions, number of things actually. And you can use it fresh or dried, it's up to you. Here is the example when you dry the root. With this one, you can, uh, you can basically clean it up really well, slice it and then use gloves when you slice it, by the way, because it's rub efficient. And then uh, you can either use it in tea or you can make tincture out of it and you can also infuse in honey, so it's uh, up to you how you want to use it. The tincture, how does it look like actually, I will show you, it's very strong, should be very strong in color and it has a very, very strange smell, it does smell very bit weird but, and it's bitter so I can't say it's tasty. <laughs> How do we use Alecampane? Uh, Alecampane is uh, warm in principle so it's stimulating expectorant especially valuable when you have congested chest, chest infection with lots of mucus, green and yellow mucus and it helps you break down even the deepest congestion into the lungs, bring it out and expel from your body. It also helps with a bit of the flow of the mucus, so the mucus is constantly moving instead of you just storing it and and not coughing it up. So that's why it's very valuable. And it's also value, valuable because it's antibacterial and fights infection at the same time. So it's mainly used for conditions like bronchitis, emphysema, pertussis, asthma. It's also used for uh, whooping cough in children and also sinusitis. So it's one of the best, best herb remedies for, for lungs. So the bitter principles in, in the root uh, which are very warm and stimulating also affect your appetite and it increases appetite and also the flow of bile from, from the liver to small intestine so it's really good for that and also has anti-parasitic action so, so the main compounds in uh, Inula Helenium elecampane are inulin actually which is carbohydrate and uh, we know inulin has prebiotic action which helps absorb other nutrients into your small intestine. Um, the other compounds are sesquiterpalactins, mainly isoalantolactin and alantolactin. So these compounds have been recently found to have antifungal properties and yes, candida and fusarium species. Also, they have been found to have a hypotensive and hypoglycemic effect. So really good if you have high blood pressure in the same time and high blood sugar levels. 
Um, these also compounds have been found to have anti-tumor properties, so anti-neoplastic, and, and antibacterial. Uh, the main compound responsible from the sesquiterpen lactans for antibacterial action is halenin, and it has been found effective against uh, tuberculosis and staphylococcal infections. Um, like I said at the beginning, I consider taking only as a part of the formula, so I add different herbs to it. And I found it accidentally that I am sensitive to this herb, so I can't take it in large dosages, even if it's part of the formula. So uh, the maximum I can take is around 10 drops. And <laughs> that I found out actually in May. <laughs> so I thought that was fine because I don't have problem with Asteracea family, but uh, after taking just like five mil in glass of water, I really felt dizzy and and not well, so I had to lie down for, for one hour. So since then I have been only taking uh, 10 drops in water and I'm actually fine tolerating this herb. So bear in mind, if you are a, a sensitive to Asteracea plant family, this is probably not the best herb for you. Uh, if you are pregnant and breastfeeding, uh, then I would not recommend it too. If you are on medication, then consider talking to your GP about it first or herbalist to see if you are if you're able to take this herb um, as well. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Visit my Instagram, New Moon Botanicals, link below, subscribe and let me know how you get on with uh, LA campaign, uh, gr either growing or, or making it to medicine. Alright, see you soon.